everyone and yes welcome to ninja matter for newsstand on all news nigerian tv and of course i'm praise ganiyu and yes we are live at one of the most popular newsstand in ogba ikeja lagos to check which issue is the most disturbing to the people do stay with us the interstate restriction or ban could be considered uh, partially as a failure in the sense that uh, there is no uh, appropriate coordination and uh, enforcement on the part of the government that came up with such uh, policies. Even most often the, 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 the instruments of the government which should serve as an enforcement agency, the police, and other paramilitary are when they are being lobbied they allow people to pass it's, a, it's more or less a, 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 a money making venture for them so and uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, people will always exploit every available means in order to take undue advantage of other citizens Meanwhile, they are not feeling better, otherwise they would have a bed. When you are not feeling fine, when you are not happy with your organization, when you are not well happy with the, the people you are serving, you won't deliver your best. So uh, they feel cheated and dejected, and they resort to other available means to make a living. Of course, man must survive. So that is one of the indices that leads to inflow of people irrespective of the interstate bound. People are still moving. Uh, the higher bidder can have his way. Those people you see uh, in the pages of newspaper, because they don't have money to lobby, they don't have money to bribe. That's why they were caught and apprehended. There are people moving from, uh, from the north down to the west, southern region, to the south, to the east. They are not being heard. Where are they? Did they just disappear and find themselves in another location? It's because that they don't, they have the money to lobby their way. You see, people like those people there, yeah, you can consider them as uh, within the lower income range. They can't afford the money to lobby. Once you can do that, you find your way. So it is more or less uh, the higher bidder takes it all as far as Nigeria is concerned. It would have been a very good term. Um, um, I think from the onset, but this is the thing that the government in place was supposed to have done from the onset. As we speak, I'm telling you at, at, at that uh, issue that had to do with uh, COVID-19 um, uh, has become uh, a, a business yeah, in Nigerian state, just as the case of Boko Haram, where they not cannot do without Boko Haram because it has become a business where people make money to eat. The same thing happened in this uh, the issue that had to do with uh, COVID-19. From the Abuja down to the grassroots, live and survive under corruption. Without corruption, they cannot be... Uh, uh, some people believe without the corruption that the apport of soup cannot be complete. Then, are you talking about total lockdown? Then, when you have policemen and um, uh, all other security apparatus, they've been corrupt. They are collecting money because I'm, I interact with a lot of them who sneak their, 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 their way into Lagos. And of course, they tell me they are uh, uh, on deal with the police. You understand me? So um, uh, um, uh, the, the state governments are just trying, but they cannot hold because of the co corruption. People are still coming into the Lagos, mostly the Fulanese. You see the Fulanese coming in troops. You, you understand that? So you begin to wonder. Um, uh, um, uh, I, I think they said there is a lockdown. How did these people manage to get here? So, um, uh, um, uh, um, at this point, my dear, we have been deceived. They are not worth call, calling them leaders, but criminals are far up better than the people parading on the street that they are your leaders. As I'm standing, please, Dr. Rod, I don't have leader. I'm, I'm a leader to myself and to my family, to hate to Nigerian state, because they're no truth. Everybody from the uh, uh, Abuja to the Gagasu live under lies. And you think such nation can survive? Yeah. They cannot survive. You cannot uh, tell the people the truth. 
Why? Because of what you are looking for. Some people are parasites. Parasites cannot be an independent. Parasites will always come, you know, and clip in your body as to suck you. This is what is happening. They are sucking us. Yeah, they are, they are sucking us. They are sucking us. Under the disguise of, say, one Nigeria. But our God will fight. Yeah, our God will fight. When we stayed at home for like two months, all, 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 all I did about the case still keep on increasing. Now, you had to, and, and the federal government had to like extend the state's lockdowns. People are still violating these laws. And the security apparatus, they have been compromised on a daily basis. I will tell you, I traveled to Osho State about some days. I actually went to Osho State and then there was no checkpoint. So now, are you not telling me that this interstate, it is not effective? Let them let them let them draw out roadmap if if you want to if he as in see if they have been sincere about this covid 19 let all hands be on deck that can at least battle this covid 19 to an average nigerians to some extent i had to like educate some of them i told them i said this covid 19 it is real some person said it it is not really that 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 come see government is just using it just, just to start for money. So see, my take is federal government should look inward, look for solution that can curtail the spread of this COVID-19. For the interstate lockdown, I see that the the so-called government they are using it to fight against some particular people because. When they now put it at state, they say essential duty are allowed to operate. Eh? Everything they are doing in Nigeria now is what? Politics. They have nothing to offer. They should better allow everybody to move their way because some people benefit from going, their businesses, taking something from here to another state. And you say there is a state lockdown. And why nothing is happening? We are in Lagos. That time they said there will be lockdown in Lagos state. And the people will be working hard to hard to do tests and no, but see how many months we start at home, nobody move anywhere to do any tests. Who are the president? Who put them there? Are they the one? I, that's what I said before, I don't blame them. I blame the judiciary. I blame the uh, aim of government that are supposed to do the right thing. But they are not doing it because of what? Money. And they are killing the love of people. When the election comes, they come to the street. But when the people need them now, they are nowhere to be found. What I, I want to leave them with this question. If they know anybody in this country that know that he cannot handle the problem of Nigeria, should never in his life come out to contest for anything. Thank God when coronavirus come, he did not come to the poor masses. If he come, you don't see people moving. Me and you, living in this street, we don't be, I don't believe in coronavirus. Because coronavirus cannot catch me. We only catch person from a house, AC house to motor home AC, to your office AC, everywhere AC. And that's why they are afraid not to die. Let them come out. Let Buhari come out. Let Kojibanjo come out. We are there. We know here their name. Only two, two, two months, one, one month, Buhari, they come follow us, they talk. Where in they come out. If you know all of them, if they know they get power, they should come and face how we are facing. They should come and walk on the road the way we are walking. If they know that they have, they have mind to do, but what they know is to keep, keep our word, keep what belongs to the government, to keep our treasury. And they are still keeping and uh, talking the uh, coronavirus did. Corona so we are stranded. No job is moving, nothing, nothing. And it's affecting the market. Because these two governments, they can stay for home for three to four years. They cannot affect them. But we that in the street that also for us, uh, we apply our job for one personal uh, personal way. They can use you as they like. They can say stay for home. And you cannot see your salary. So what are we going to eat? So that's what we are looking about. So let government, at least they have three to two weeks now, which we are here now. So after this two, let, let, let them release us out. Then we, are, we have our sanitizer and our nose covering to prevent ourselves so everybody knows. So if they test you, you are negative, well, government take care of you. At least you have a sanitation center so that we provide for us. Even in my own state, in my own state, in Abonyi state, they have it. When you come, or if you may go any state, enter into your state, they'll take you to, after 14 days, 
I can free you wish you are free. Like me now, they have tested me for many places, I'm free. Even in my bank, the list bank, even uh, conga.com, anywhere they have tested me. So, I don't have much to say. So I praise the government, after these two weeks, please, let us go out. Alright guys, it's a wrap for Nigerian matter. As you stand on All News Nigerian TV. And of course, we've heard the people's opinion on the most disturbing issue, which is the tumor risk continuous interstate lockdown. Alright guys, don't forget to always subscribe to our YouTube channel. I still remain your girl, praise Ghani.